Hi everyone, today we are going to make one new tutorial in logo designing and that is for golden bell properties and that is one of best concept where we are going to design that from step by step and make everything like color and the concept and everything like we have found etc and how we are going to make all these things let's get started okay first you have to come to the file and just click new and you will get that dialog box which is for web large and it is 920 and 180px it means pixels just click create and you will get one new dialog box now just uh, click your pen tool and if you don't have that uh, tool then what you are going to do just click in your pen tool and you have to click that triangle and you will get that tool as separate one and now you gonna create or you gonna make anything which you want now let's see first how we are going to make for example let me just draw something like this one and now we are going to click on anchor point and straight one we are going to click in center part and we are going to finish that one and now let's select our direct selection tool and make some adjustment and now you have to select that one and you are going to give some color to that for better looking and just let me remove the outline and you should select none and now let me little bit adjust as well this part okay next you have to select that one and hold down your alt key and just drag to the right and now right click in that one and select transformation or transform and click reflection and now you will just select vertical 90 degree and click ok and that is what we are just got right now we have to just completely yeah now let me just align that with top and that is what we have now okay everything is clear but i think i see some difference here let me just okay now okay i have that uh, pixel grid which snap just let me just remove that one and now yes we got everything clear now just select that one and we have pathfinder and in pathfinder you have to select just let me click unite everything and now you will get this one and one thing more you have to just uh, hold down your alt and now drag to the right and you will get one more copy of that one and for easiness i will just make one more uh, if i need in future that part then i will use that one as well now just let me bring a little bit transfer that and adjust the size of second one and make the color to white and you will see that uh, i'm using arrow key arrow key for moving that part and now just transfer little bit and make some adjustment to the size and yes that is i think fine for now yes that is great now just click that one and just minus front one and you will get that part and now we are going to remove half of that one just 
uh, create one rectangle on the top of that one and click uh, uh, and select both of that to one and minus and now we are going to make the later initial later which first which we are going to make like G for golden and now let me just select this one and you can just resize the size of that one now just let me hold down my alt and duplicate that one and just rotate to 90 degree and properly just press that and now see it looks like it is G now we are going to select everything and just hold down your alt again and bring to the right now right click transform reflection and click vertical and 90 degree press, uh, press ok now you got this one and uh, since we are going to write that golden bell and that is golden D E N golden and bell and I'm using the initials which is for that is golden and bell now the first one which is G and the second one I'm going to use for B now let me just do one thing in center we have ah uh, yes we are going to select from here to here some simple triangle to m make it different from the G like and minus now it seems a little bit that yes it is B for example we have here that simple sign and that seems that it is B now we are going to add just a little bit uh, I have selected my path tool now selecting all these things together and I will just take a little bit top to the top and this one a little to bottom and now one thing else we are going to make that is for that company's golden bell properties and let me write properties and just increase the size for properties I have the concept that uh, the initial should be used like a bell and we have a window which should which may show that it is also related to property or house or home therefore we are going to use the window as well now again selecting the same procedure that I have hold down my alt and just making the window simply and now you can check that yes let me just little bit we are going to just adjust that that distance for each of that one and now group right click select everything and right click on that one and click group and now bring that to the center and make a little bit size to be smaller and let that to be adjusted okay uh, one last thing which we are going to now make just remove the fill and give it a stroke and now we have that one I think there is some problem with these here now let me just fix that one with a stroke and I think yes I am going to fix that one yes now yes now that is perfect let me just bring here and increase the size a little bit more and now just let me make some adjustment for example here and here yes now it looks good we have to increase the width oh 
okay now we are that is uh, the concept like this one we have golden bell golden bell uh, property and that company is for property and we have that one uh, the representation of the bell and because it is in our name and we are also using the the uh, symbol of the window for the property this yes that is for uh, related to house or home and we have also we are also using the initials which is g and b which is representing that it is golden bell and everything uh, with the name the symbol represents that one and it is a very unique and conceptual logo and also some when someone see that it is also memorable now let's just make uh, one circle and just rectangle in middle and you have to minus that one and bring that like this you can just simply adjust the size as well like it seems like is yes it is bell and it is looking quite brilliant and good now we are just going to make some color adjustment to that one and some font adjustment okay for color i have and i'm going to use this one for example let me just select and copy that one and paste here and we are going to select everything and we are just going to take dropper eyedropper and we are going to select this one now let me just check uh, yes we are also making this one as it is outline just come to the object and path and you are going to make outline to stroke now it will change the stroke to the object now everything is brilliant and good and you are going to select eyedropper and there you can check that some uh an uniform color are there because every element here every element is different from each other now what we are going to do click the first one and just hold down your r uh, your shift key and select everything else which you are going to join that one and make unite now see everything is looking good now same with that one and i have to just give that a little bit color formation for gradient let me just see where is my gradient okay window let's gradient is graphic style yes gradient is here and we are just going to make some adjustment to this one and we have gradient tool just yes okay now let me just adjust this one as well and we are going to make it 90 degree yeah now it is looking good and to this one also we use gradient tool and we are going to use that for our yes that is good for color cre creation or gradient you are going to make uh, a new gradient for example let me just show you how we are going to make new gradient if you are going to select this one and it is simple color and now if you are going to use gradient for that one let me just change uh yes you have to select uh linear and in linear you are going to click here and you are going to change the color of that one and you are going to make different color for example like this one now we have just golden color here okay now let me delete this one and that one as well and for text we have to increase the size golden bell yes and now one thing if you are going to select your eyedropper and you are going to select the color from your graphic 
then it will looks that yes it is selected but the color is not changing because we have text which is in vector and we have to convert that to outline create outline now we are going to select any text from here and now you can see that it is changing okay just change the direction to 90 degree and yes that is looking good let me just uh -huh, in bottom one yes that is good now okay we also can change the outline from for property and we are going to select some color and 90 degree too is as well okay now just select everything and center that with transformation we have now let me just select mm, we have align and center yes now select and group that one now select everything and group that one what the group do now if i select any one of that and you are looking that when i am moving that one and it is go going and moving every element it means that our group now select that one as well and center it and one last thing which we have just resize it to center of your uh, document and now we are going to come to our layer make one new layer bring that to the bottom and name it to bg it means background let me just write again bg and that is our logo okay now in bg we are going to make one solid rectangle and change it to black and now just lock the layer as it will not move anymore and you can just adjust your logo now it is looking completely brilliant logo and if you have any question if you are if you have not understood anything then you can comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new amazing graphic designing logo and a lot of tricks and trips related to graphic designing stay tuned with me i'm jamshed Reza. thank you everyone